In today's Smart Money magazine, HR departments are growing, but guess what? Hiring isn't. A strange paradox? Well, thank heavens we have Quentin Fittrell here to discuss about this Twilight Zone like <laughs> twi Twilight Zone like paradox. You just make this up as you go along. That's I really great. do. I, just... I really do. Now, Quentin, before we get started on the HR department, show people your double lapel. I've never seen that before. Double is that lapel. A, yeah, the double lapel. Is, it, yeah. is there something underneath that there? Yeah, something? it's just a double lapel. It means that the economy is doing very well. Or, oh, or it, does it? Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it's sort of another paradox. Now, Quentin. It is. HR departments are growing. Right, 21%. They're expected to grow over the next 10 years, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. If you believe that, Evan? Well, I, well, I, I don't know whether to believe it, but it's true that HR departments, were at any organization that I've been at, right. and I've been at several over the last 20 years or so, they have, they have seen constant, steady growth. And one of the reasons for that is just because the paperwork, and especially a lot of the legal and government and regulatory right. requirements... Taxes. They just keep on going up. And if you go to an HR department, plus a lot of litigation, I mean, certainly on Wall Street where I worked, the HR department, everybody is unhappy. I'm going to sue you. You know, it always goes to lawsuits I'm or call, litigation and HR. things like that. Yeah, I'm calling HR. How dare right. you treat me like that, Quentin? It's like calling your lawyer, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to the people in HR. Right. Do HR people spend a lot of their time dealing with much more than just the hiring and the vetting of candidates, right? right? That's exactly right. You know, tax codes are still very complex. As you said, you know, legal issues, um, all of these, they really do a lot more than one might realize. But it's funny because when you think of such a large, sudden surge in HR professional specialists and managers, you think it would have something to do with them maybe hiring other departments? Right, but that's, but that's not that's no, the way it works. It's just more some, overhead. I mean, I don't overhead. want to demean human resource professionals. Right, you do a great job. Uh, many of them are really, the, a lot of times, they're kind of the heart and soul and the culture of any really organization. Are. Well, I don't know who you're sucking up to. I don't. I don't know who does the I'm smart just afraid, money. I'm just HR afraid of the department. hate mail. I'm just trying to do damage limitation on the hate mail. Um, the, but during the recession, they took a hit. Right. So the other reason why this sudden splurge is because they're really playing catch up, and I guess this part uh, part of it is that companies are are hopeful that they're preparing to grow, but they're not exactly going to hire immediately right so um, we will have lots more HR so if you want to get a job the message for Quentin Fittrell go to work <laughs> go to work at HR got, yeah Quentin Fittrell we got to run we got to run take your take your double lapel and have a fun fantastic I love afternoon. you too thank you very much my for pleasure. joining us Quentin